Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello everybody. So, today also in this lecture also we are going to continue about the transplantation and host versus graft reaction. So, in previous lecture we tried to uh, explain like uh, slowly like what are the major uh, antigen, what is the minor antigen uh, and the T cell. So, in this lecture we are going to say what is actually happened in different cases and how uh, it is re recovered. Okay. So, as usual this is the um, acknowledgement that I am using the slides from uh, Genoa's immunobiology book. So, in continuation to the previous lecture, we can say we, we are always saying like allo antigen and allo reactive T cells. So, how these allo antigens are presented or how cell or the uh, donor can understand. Actually, there are two ways of presenting allo antigen on the transplant donor organ to the recipient T lymphocytes because what happened or the minor antigen or if, in, if it is not minor if the donor is widely different in genetically normally identical uh, MHC is not possible in the human system except the identical twin most of the cases it is different right. So, allo antigen recognition is very common and two way it can recognize and who is recognizing T cell is recognizing. The first thing you know that normally what happens suppose this is the kidney of the um, donor um, kidney. Okay. So, it is transplanted what happened when you transplant the kidney it will bring some dendritic cells along with that right it is not just the kidney cells. So, there are a lot of dendritic cells which is the donor dendritic cells which contain uh, MHC which is non self MHC. So, what will happen this when it is fit and uh, after transplantation and the surgery what will happen these dendritic cells from the donor will go to the nearest lymph node which is the uh, recipient lymph node and these dendritic donor dendritic cells will be recognized by allo reactive T cells that 5 percent and they will be activated. Okay. Once it is activated and that T cell will take time and then after that it will reach to that donor kidney or the donated kidney and this activated T cell will find this kidney as foreign. Okay. As soon as this kidney as foreign, so with time that kidney cells or the cytotoxic T cell will destroy the kidney and that is how it is um, going to uh, re, uh, ultimately it will be rejected. So, the donor dendritic cells, donor dendritic cells are transported to the recipient lymph node alloreactive T cells are activated by these dendritic cells because donor dendritic cells will bring the donor protein on their surface with MHC 1 and this will um, I mean the activated T cell will come and destroy it and there is a direct way also. What I mean this direct allo recognition is so that what has been this is the donor dendritic cells. Okay, the yellow is the donor dendritic cells which will be directly recognized both MHC 1 and MHC 2 and proliferate what we showed last time and I mean in the last slide actually. So, what happened these CD 8 cells if it is react with MHC 1 this is allo reactive and this recognition will be activated this CD 8 which will go and kill we just remember the last slide, but at the same time this one will also kill this donor dendritic cells and these donor dendritic cells will get the signal of apoptosis and this apoptotic cells which is expressing all sorts of foreign or the donor antigen will be engulfed by recipient cells or the macrophage okay, mostly the dendritic cells. So, the death cell we do not keep it. So, they are our scavenger we clean it. So, while cleaning this whole death or apoptotically died this cell will be taken up by recipient dendritic cells. What will happen? So, this MHC which is foreign which is not identical some at least will do tissue matching, but not 100 percent possible oh, and then this red, green, blue, yellow all these proteins say assume they will be internalized chopped and processed. What will happen just as symbolically you see the yellow part is the MHC part. 
So, MHC part will be expressed by the dome, I mean recipient dendritic cells, which will activate T cells. Okay. These T cells will go and help the B cell and produce antibody, because this part is this yellow part is foreign and that will go and bind MHC of recipient cell. So, MHC of recipient cell which is in the surface of the dendritic cells and many other cells MHC 1 also be there. So, that will be in the recipient cell and the antibody go and bind to the recipient cell and then another inflammatory response is going to happen and this is the indirect. So, this is direct which was the previous slide and this is direct uh, this is indirect because the pre directly recognized cell will be engulfed by our own cells and do the harm or the symptom. So, antibodies that will be generated by the indirect uh, rec allo recognition will do the hyper acute graft rejection. What is going to happen? So, you see uh, by that method by the previous method this um, uh, cell is a uh, helper cells right allo reactive helper cells because it is MHC 2 you can see from there. So, that will create some antibody and that antibody will circulate in the blood and while going inside the kidney okay, where wherever the artery is there rest of the artery is the recipient's own artery, but the artery on the blood vessels of the donor cells it will go and what will happen in the epithelial this antibody which is raised against the recipient cell will go and bind in the surface. What will happen? This antibody will bring well, call lot of macrophage and neutrophils and these macrophage and neutrophils ultimately, ultimately do uh, severe inflammation okay. and this inflammation will make the whole kidney gradually purple and colored because there are lot of because what will happen this inflammation will make this tight junction loose and lot of blood will uh, an internal hemorrhage will happen ultimately graft failure is going to happen. Okay. I hope it is clear the antibody generated by the indirect I am repeating quickly indirect uh, activation of the dendritic cells antibody will generate and then this antibody go and bind the vesicles or the blood vessels inside this donor kidney and cause inflammation and ultimately a hemorrhage will happen the kidney will change its color to purple and ultimately loss its function and there will be a failure. Okay. Late failure of transplant organ is caused by chronic injury of the graft. Okay. What is that? Same. So, that particular donor specific allo antibodies against HLA will go and bind the other arterial endothelium also and that will cause the similar function and what will happen? This antibody will go and bind and different uh, and this antibody will call macrophage, granulocyte, neutrophil and ultimately we will see that there will be a I mean this tight junction will be loosed again inflammation. Okay, severe inflammation will happen and it will cause the injury to the blood vessels and many other part. Okay, so, wherever not you ha we have to remember that this thing is not always for the kidney, kidney is not the only organ that we transplant. We, we transplant heart also. So, there are a lot of other places whatever we uh, um, transplant that particular this kind of thing can happen in which will take little more time, but it is going to happen. Okay. So, T cell I mean the whole artery you will see a lot of antibodies macrophage uh, T cells everything go inside the tissue and create a serious problem. A variety of organs are transplanted routinely even after that even after that the variety of organs are transplanted routinely. It is not that immune system is so strong and so active it is stopped us. Even today you might have heard like there is a system called green corridor. Green corridor is developed in Madras actually first in Chennai like to make a um, like a pilot car. So, keep the road clean the flight and everything airport road airport to hospital. So, what happened if there are any person die okay donor are two types actually one is a living donor another is the death body like cadaver which has no um, person to claim or somebody our organ donor i mean all of us can do that right i can say that okay if after my death 
if my organs are okay, I would like to donate. And if the information properly reach, and even in India, the rule is saying the brain death is also death. So, person wants to donate the organ. So, some hap something happened in Delhi, and somebody needs a kidney here in Kolkata or Calcutta, or in Bombay or in um, Chennai. So, what will happen? That need to bring it. It will not survive for days. So, immediately it should come, and the hospital and everything should be ready from actually one hospital to another hospital bed or the operation theater, it should go without any hassle. So, at least it can reduce 50 percent of the time and that was uh, practice and now it is called green corridor. So, one person is looking for a kidney for example, another person death person can donate many organ at a time heart, brain, lung, kidney, eye. Okay. So, that is there is no time of matching the HLA or the tissue typing and all this thing. Normally, if you have time we can do. So, even after that if that kind of transplantation is possible, how it is possible? Because there are some good advancement of immunosuppressive drugs, lot of new drugs are discovered which can really suppress the immune system for long time or long day. So, that after transplantation for many months you have to use the immunosuppressive drug, so that immune system does not work properly. The person or the recipient should be very careful, because any other infection can happen, immune system is completely blocked. I am not going to tell you the name of the medicine and what can be done and you have to memorize that, but I am just would like to show you here in this slide. You remember B 7 C D 28, this is co-stimulator of T cells, there are nice inhibitor for that. Okay. So, this is C D 8 anti C D 3 monoclonal antibody that will see what is that monoclonal later on. There are cyclosporin which causes. So, every stage like the cell cycle, uh, IL 2 receptor binding inhibition. So, wherever T cell activation is there. So, that T cell activation is stopped by many different drugs either single or in combination which can block. So, now MHC matching or tissue typing is not that important which was 15 20 years back. Okay, that time it was and one more thing we have to be careful I mean uh, consider actually for transplantation uh, uh, biology or the medical science progress like not only this drug development or MHC knowledge or immunology knowledge. We have to have what? We have to have the source, we have to have now the communication is much more we came to know what is happening all over the world. So, we immediately know what happened in Delhi and we have a communication we can bring that organ, it was not there before. Surgery improved a lot, there are a lot of new device, new techniques. So, the successful surgery is also one of the important factor for transplantation, even everything is ok. So, if the surgeon is not uh, good or doing his job properly then there is no point. Third is this uh, medicine or uh, the immunosuppressive drug discovery. So, all these things made the success rate of transplantation all over the world uh, very high, it was not as before. Okay. There are many organ transplantation, this is a report for um, uh, US, this is a 2014 because you cannot have uh, every year all the time, this is uh, 2014 you see there are kidney, liver, heart, pancreas, lung, intestine, cornea uh, and uh, hematopoietic stem cells transplantation. So, this is these are the numbers of transplantation and this is the 5 years survival of the graft rate. So, I am not going one by one like reading this thing, you can see that okay, what is the success rate or what is the 5 years, 5 years success rate is good enough. Many cases what happened after 5 years or 6 years that individual may need to another transplant, okay. another transplant is always a problem, it is going to give you a secondary kind of response. So, what in the first slide of the last lecture we showed that okay, the sensitized. So, one organ is transplanted with sensitized and you will not get a same donor again and it is not possible one person cannot give both the kidney right, you have to have a second donor. And best donor is always a relative because their image will be very similar okay. and then the, nowadays this is also not required because just in the last slide we saw so many new drugs are discovered or the immunosuppressive drug. Okay. So, the converse of graft reaction like what is this uh, just reverses is the rejection of graft versus host disease. When you say the graft rejection if it happen reversely it is called disease. So, rejection is one thing it will reject, but if 
some reverse uh, adverse reaction happen separately then it is uh, it's called disease. So, allogenic hematopoietic cells transplant contain memory T cells right. So, when you transplant the uh, hematopoietic stem cells that stem cells and the blood will contain the memory T cells and that T cell will be activated in the um, lymph node okay. and alloreactive again. So, these alloreactive T cells will because donor also has the alloreactive T cells it will be activated and these activated T cells will go and cause this is reverse way. Now, the donors alloreactive cells are activated by the recipient. Okay. It was like uh, uh, the previously we were discussing recipient alloreactive T cells will recognize the graft and reject it. Now, we are saying that donors alloreactive T cells are going to be activated by the recipient and that uh, donors T cells will create harm in the tissue or the skin of the recipient and that is also a disease which is called graft versus host disease. And that we can test actually whether it is going to happen I mean happen or not. What we can do is like um, say recipient if uh, in this case we are trying to say whether the donor has this how much alloreactive T cells are there whether they are going to activate or not. What I can do is I can take two blood cells one from donor another from recipient and recipient T cells we can destroy by irradiation. Okay. We can limited radiation can kill the proliferation activity of the recipient T cell. So, if we kill all the T cell of the recipient and then mix the donor T cell and rest of the cell will be okay and mix them and keep them for 5 days what will happen if the donor has lot of T cells which is alloreactive that will proliferate. Okay. These are the basically the helper cells. So, they will proliferate and we can see that they are proliferating that means, alloreactive helper T cells are there. Same way cytotoxic T cell if because our recipient T cells are all dead or they are not having a capability of multiplication or they cannot replicate. So, what happened? So, if donor has alloreactive cytotoxic T cell what will happen in 5 days it will start killing of the recipient cells. So, that number of T cells also, but this this is called actually um, uh, mixing lymphocytes reaction, but these cannot give us the real number they are a much better experiment, but this is a very quick experiment. Okay. So, we can do how much alloreactive T cells are there. If helper cells proliferate and cytotoxic T cell killing the cells that means, the percentage of alloreactive T cells in the donor is much more better not to take. Okay. Regulatory T cells you already we did not say much, but we already said like there is a T regulatory cells which suppress the active T cells. So, T regulatory cells also are very important if that suppress or regulatory T cells are much there they can also repress the alloreactive immune response. But so, that is how another treatment is there if you along with the transplantation if you give some cytokines which will activate the alloreactive uh, sorry regulatory T cells that can also suppress the um, transplant rejection. Now, the best part of this transplant fetus, fetus is an allograft right, because it is part of 50 percent father's MHC, 50 percent mother's MHC. Okay. So, one set completely from father and it is growing inside the mother room for 9 months at least 9 months even after that fetus is not rejected by the mother it is allograft, but it is not rejected and it is not a single time repeated pregnancy also not doing any harm. So, it is a really a great mystery okay. what exactly happened how the fetus is surviving and growing happily inside the mother's womb even after we have so strong immune system which can identify a skin within 7 10 days how the whole body is not it is still mystery, but still there are some idea or some knowledge I will just uh, share with you. If you see that the, the uh, it is just symbolically uh, father is green mother is pink as uh, well blue and pink 
and the baby inside which is the stripe like pink is also there and blue is also there. That means, this is the allograft whatever the bicolor thing is the allograft. Okay. The mechanism how this phyto maternal tolerance is happening is not clear, but it is not a single reason it is a multi factorial and it is redundant. Okay. Women who have born children often make antibodies it is not that there is no immune reaction. Okay. During pregnancy um, uh, every uh, women make lot of antibody against the father's MHC. So, antibody when we do the tissue typing actually this is the source of anti MHC antibody. Okay. So, it is not very little. So, immune reaction is happening anti father MHC antibody is also found in mother's blood, but they cannot do much or they do not do anything rather how. The placenta which is actually a fetus derived tissue, okay. the placenta you might heard about I am not going to be the physiology part, placenta actually sequester the baby. Okay. So, it, it does not allow many things to get inside and do any harm to the baby. Okay. Tropoblast, what is tropoblast? Tropoblast is the outer layer of the placenta, the interface between fetal and maternal tissue. Okay. So, that tropoblast actually does not express the MHC 2. Okay. So, if there is no MHC 2 the T cell cannot be activated and there is a very low level of restricted subset of MHC class 1 molecules. Okay. If you if if any um, if any particular tissue I do not know whether I, uh, myself or professor Ganguly mentioned it or not let me tell it now if any tissue in our body does not express MHC 1 what will happen NK cell will be activated NK cell will find that it is not expressing MHC 1 means something is wrong it will kill it. Okay. So, it is restricted level of MHC class 1 that means low I mean the variety is very little and not only that topoplast is also expressing MHC class 1 type molecule called HLAG. Okay. So, HLAG is very similar to look like MHC 1. So, NK cell will not find it again, okay, so it is fine. So, just to um, trick the NK cell or to inhibit the NK cell killing, it is not expressing MHC 1, MHC it is almost 0 and MHC 1 is very little along with that they will express HLAG to um, avoid the NK cell killing. Okay. The placenta also inhibit the mother's T cell by an active mechanism in nutrient depletion. So, what happened placenta because T cell activation T cell activation actually need tryptophan. Okay. So, the enzyme uh, IDO is expressed at a high level in the cell the maternal fetal in, uh, interface what it is doing it is actually depletes the essential amino acid tryptophan which T cell is need I mean T cell require the tryptophan to be activated or its proper function. So, it is reduce that um, tryptophan level and T cell start with tryptophan may not or cannot work properly okay. and how it is proved if you see the bottom one the inhibition of the IDO okay, in null diamine 2 3 dioxygenase in pregnant mice using the inhibitor sub, uh, that means if you inhibit this enzyme that means no tryptophan starvation and it happens the, uh, the fetus is rejected, okay. but it is not happening in syngenic mice. Syngenic mice means to identical mice. So, that inhibition does not matter okay, that will not cause any problem because T cell is anyway is not going to be activated. Okay. The next I mean these are the few points which is known I mean all of them are working, but what is exactly happening nobody knows. The cytokine milieu of the maternal fetal, uh, fetal interface also contribute the fetal tolerance. What kind of cytokines it is happening they actually favor the cytokine TGA beta and IL 2 it favors the expression of more uh, inducible T regulatory cells and as long as T regulatory cells number is increasing the overall T cell activity is going to be reduced. So, this that particular part is specifically secrete a specific cytokines which 
favors the growth of T regulated cells and as a result other T cells like C D 4 and C D 8 do not do much because T regulated cells suppress it that we already know. Okay. And stromal cells are specialized maternal uterine tissue that directly interface with the placenta and appear to repress the local expression of key T cell attracting chemokines. So, cytokines is also there and that particular um, region the maternal tissue the placenta is expressing or do not express the chemokine which attract the T cell. Okay. So, all these things so far known both maternal as well as fetal because the placenta is a fetus derived tissue part together contribute. So, that even the fetus is allograft body do not recognize it. So, you can say without drug immune system is completely suppressed I am sorry not completely partially suppressed, but that part is completely suppressed almost because simple thing can cause rejection or reabsorption of the fetus. Okay. So, this thing is really even mystery I mean if we can understand exactly how this thing is monitored how it is controlled that knowledge can be extrapolated to the transplantation. So, what we are of course, we are doing by the immunosuppressive drug. Okay. Now, uh, these are the um, uh, all in the last lecture and today's lecture or this lecture this one uh, these are the summary point uh, what we are going uh, discuss so far. So, just if you remember this and remember your um, uh, the cartoon or the figure it is all the transplantation that we have done like graft rejection is an immunological response mediated by primary T cells transplant rejection is caused primarily by the strong immune response of non self MHC molecule that is a allo reaction from the donor side. In MHC identical graft rejection is caused by the peptide that is a minor H antigen. There are two ways of presenting one is uh, allo antigen one is direct another is indirect antibody also produced which can cause the hyper acute reaction making the uh, inflammatory response to make the tight junction loose and leaking of blood molecules. Late failure of the transplant is caused by the chronic injury the uh, what we said the same the tissue like um, macrophage antibody T cells will enter into the artery. A variety of organs are transplanted routinely successful because uh, uh, lot of suppressive drug converse graft rejection response is the basically the disease that means, which happen the reverse way the donor. Um, alloreactive T cell can cause harm to the host body that is reverse to the rejection, but that is going to cause a disease. Regulatory T cells has an important role in controlling the alloreactive immune response. The fetus we just discussed is an allograft is tolerate repeatedly and this is real mystery and we should have to know because lot of information if we can discover from there our transplantation will be much more. Now, we'll, I am going to take little more time what is the scenario of India. Okay. Very recently government of India uh, settled one institution called national organ and tissue transplant organization okay, N O T T O. We also have five more regional okay, Bombay, Calcutta, uh, Delhi, Chennai. So, they are taking care of the uh, nearest states like the uh, in Kolkata the regional center is taking care of Jharkhand, Bihar, Orissa this region we do not we have only 5 regional center. And according to the parameter you can see I am not going to see if you see this the number of transplantation is increasing ok blue color is the kidney one kidney is the most uh, transplanted organ and the green one is a liver and the red one is heart you can see is much less definitely I mean until unless somebody's death someone cannot donate the heart like living donor cannot donate the heart. Okay, so, there is no possibility. So, the kidney donation is maximum. So, this is and it is gradually increasing and it is a good sign okay. and if you see the number of uh, donor like uh, male donor is much more than the female donor gender wise and this is the distribution I am talking only in India. 
this is the distribution and this is between um, uh, this is actually between 1995 to 2018 data okay and 2020 uh, we, it is not completed yet and this is if you see the green or the major part this is in the pie chart major part this is the living donor okay this is a living donor and this is a cadaver so from dead body and summary of all organ so you see this 220 out of 27259 20,663 are from the near relative. Near relatives are always always better, okay? Because much more chance of having similar MHC than any unknown. Even though there are a lot of drugs are discovered, if you have better MHC matching or tissue typing match, first definitely blood group need to be matched, okay? And um, then the MHC if near relative chances of matching is much more higher and this is from uh, uh, others like 6596. So, this number just to give an idea like when we are discussing transplant anyway this is a uh, kind of statistics. Okay. So, um, we can uh, you can have uh, idea and normally what happen I mean which is not yet started here in US long time back even 25 years back. Also, whoever is going for the driving license, they used to ask, I would like to donate your organ. Okay. And it is used written like organ donor in the driving license. So, just in case nobody knows, accident can happen any time. Okay. And after death, if it is already written organ donor, so immediately the nearest hospital will be informed that this thing happened and death happened or casualty happened by accident and the passenger or the driver whoever is the organ donor. Okay. So, immediately that the that hospital will take care and then organ will be utilized by those who really need it. Okay. So, these but even after, uh, this is not exactly happening in India at least so far my knowledge is concerned maybe someday it will happen. And we are in progress I mean lot of good successful uh, transplantation is happening in India different part of the Indian different hospitals. So, so far this is transplantation and host versus graft uh, graft versus host reaction and this actually the end of immunology part. In next few lectures we are going to discuss about the implication of immune system or knowledge of immune system how we utilized in vaccine, vaccine production and different kind of antibody. So, immunology as such whatever we are supposed to discuss this is the last class or last lecture. Thank you very much hope you enjoyed the whole course. Next 5 class we are going to discuss about different application or the vaccine particularly till then bye.